Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble abode once again. I've been a little bit busy doing routine things so I haven't bothered to film those. But what I have been doing I shall show you. So first of all let's go down to the workshop where I've been busy rearranging um, the chests. And here we have now a, basically a wall of storage drawers. And each of these storage drawers have got this um, red redstone upgrade. I think it's not quite called a redstone upgrade. Let's just have a quick I'll move this out of the way. I need an empty hand for this. So five. So a status upgrade show fill levels. So it shows how full items are. And you can see in this particular compact drawer, I've got 243 blocks of redstone and 2,187 redstones. Some of these actually work quite nicely. You can take nuggets out. Copper, for some reason, you can't. Now, the reason for that, I shall show you. Here we have a railcraft copper ingot. I want to turn that into nuggets. I get railcraft copper nuggets. But now they become thorncraft. The thorncraft copper nuggets won't go back into here. So I suspect that's a sort of small bug, really. I'll put those back in into an ingot and then we could put the ingot back into the chest I put it in the right place but there's the nice thing about this is here I've got sort of things like arrows and bones and gunpowder when I which I've also got storage drawers for here so I've got some arrows and gunpowder and bones and if I right click double right click this everything that I had in my inventory that's already in a chest here will go into the chests which is great, makes life easy and I think it's quite a good way for small people to work. Plus, the fact I've also got in here, um, let's have a look, I've got a small AE system and the AE system has basically got a, an import bus in here so everything in this chest is being drawn into the into the system and it's ending up in these, um, in this, this drive, in this drive here and they're getting a little bit full so but mostly it's getting full from types rather than actual items so here we've got 35 types here we've got 63 all of these they're only these are only one k storage units so they're getting really full of uh, small lots of small items and you can see that here so like one of pump one detector one deep storage unit one music disc of certain different types some red redstone Basalt's rod, etc., etc. What I've also been doing was I've been working on the nothing down. I'm not doing anything down here except for. Did I move, show you that? I moved some of these uh, uh, spawners. I actually put them in the wall behind these uh, quartz uh, uh, quartz wall. In fact, it's right below that. I got fed up of things spawning all the time, making quite a lot of noise. And here I built a big room out. This is where I had this sort of little demonstration, but now it's a huge room. And here I've got a little bit of um, Applied Energistics 2. What I'd like to show you is a little bit of automation. That's the goal for today. So on me, I have got some Ceratus Quartz Crystals. So if I take one of these Ceratus Quartz Crystals, I should have just did wrong. Let's try that again. I want one. And I want to put one in this chest up here. And what happens is it takes this quartz crystal, and when that's charged up, it takes it out again. So now I have a teratus quartz, charged teratus quartz crystal here. Here. So what I'm going to do now is to demonstrate how I did that. So what I've used is this Steve's factory block. And here it is. And the recipe for this is actually quite inventory. Steve's factory manager, machine inventory manager. And the recipe for this is actually quite straightforward. One block of redstone, one piston, two stones, and five irons ingots. And it makes this machine. So what we do, I'll take the machine up, put the machine here, put it back where it was. And what I've done is I've put it between a pair of storage drawers here and a charger. And what you have to do is you get this interface. 
So what we need is a trigger. And what I need is a trigger to take the items out of the chest. So we need an input. This input is the where it's taking the items from. And here we have an output where it's putting the items to. And we can do things like rename this trigger. So for example, we'll call this trigger um, from chest or from drawers. And then I have to click the save button up here and then that's saved and here you can do things like an interval let's make it something that we can see like three seconds okay and what we're going to do is we're going to connect this draw by clicking here and dragging it down and clicking here to an input and the input we're going to take from an inventory so we're going to take it from these oak storage drawers here and what we're going to do is it doesn't matter I think which side the one we've got activated is I think is any side and the items what we're going to do is we're going to take some serratus quartz in fact we don't want the ore we want the serratus quartz crystals here and we're going to whitelist those so that means we're going to take those out of here and what we're going to do with that I'll put that over here is we're going to take this and put this into the output. The output is going to be the charger. Simple as that. In fact, I don't need to specify any items or anything else. That's all I need to do. So let's give that a quick demonstration. Let's put into this, uh, let's put, say, three crystals in here. So it doesn't matter if I put them in the top or the bottom. We'll put them in the bottom to start with. So now we have, it says here, two Ceratus Quartz Crystals. Put another one in. Oh, that must be the charged one. Does that say two? Yes. Oh, of course, there were three in my hand. And now one has gone to here, it's been charged. So we now have to take that out and put it back into the drawers. And the way we do that is to create another trigger. And we're going to call this one, say, From Charger. Save that. Interval, well, make it, doesn't matter, we can make it three seconds again. And then we're going to create an input. The input this time is going to be the charger. And what we're going to take out of here is charge Ceratus Court. So here's the input. And the items we're going to take out is a whitelisted charge Ceratus Court. And here we have it. And it's really quite as simple as that. So we take that to there. That takes that out. And it puts it into the bus. And then we need an output. The output in this case is going to be the storage drawers again. Right again. So the inventory is going to be the storage drawers. And I've got a double storage drawer because of the items I'm taking in, one in, one out. And I don't care about the items, it can be anything. And that's it. So what we should see now is items coming in. Oh, we've already used them up. So let's just right click that one. And now we've got 60 here. Put those in there. You see now we've got, uh, what if we can see, 59 and 4. Get this charged up, goes out. And a new one comes in. And you can see that this is the process. So we'll end up with a stack of charged Ceratus Quartz. And that's really it. What I'd like to do next is to automate these inscribers to do very much the same thing. And here I've got some storage drawers. And here I've got a, an inventory cable, which is basically going right the way down all of these items. So what we'll do is we'll create quickly a, um, a fact, another factory manager. I could link the two together, but I think we'll do it the easier or we'll keep them separate because of the it makes it easier to understand what's going on so we need if I remember right it was one block of um, redstone and it was a few where are they now let's have I think it was five wasn't it and with these um, compact drawers they're really quite clever you can put items in and you could take them out and I'm unlike the uh, the jabber barrels when you click 
left click it takes one item out so I think I've got five in there if I counted that right yes I did I can't remember the rest of us recipe let's have a look so Steve's factory manager inventory manager so we want one piston two stone have we got some stone yes we've got plenty of stone pistons I've got a recipe in here for pistons yes not take oh, I'm running out of cobblestone we need a cobblestone no shortage of cobblestone as is normal with uh, minecraft put that into here now I can take a piston out of here but I can put the other three cobblestone in there so now we have all the ingredients we need for a factory manager so shift click and then we have another one. So let's go down again to the AE. I just put the factory manager here. And then when I right click it, you see if we put an input in here, we can see a different set of inventories. So you can see we've got the dress and all of these inscribers. And it only goes as far as that. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll have to think about how to automate this, but until next time. Bye for now.